So we are very fortunate that the homeowner wants to discuss what happened with his experience with his builder. Apparently, these two units cost $1.3 million. And I have the homeowner right here with me. And uh, so as, as a person who runs their own business and you didn't have time to do your project and manage it, you, you said you trusted the builder and you wanted them to do everything. And uh, what's your experience so far? Well, the experience is just uh, di disappointing. I mean, uh, giving out large sums of money, yeah. uh, expecting um, you know the project to be completed, um, it's just it's just heartbreaking, disappointing, hard-earned money just thrown away, a um, mm. lot of damages. You know, living away from home for such a long time. You know, yeah. it, it, twelve interest rate rises we've we've copped. Yeah. You know, rental homes. I mean, it's just heartbreaking at the moment. So. We, we need to sort of resolve it and, and move forward. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This builder actually sent an invoice for 16 stage payment and you, you, you got triggered because there was a lockup payment that got, that got released by the bank and you knew lockup wasn't complete, but you kind of said, you know what, let's keep pushing. And That's now right. 16 stage came and Oh, well, we actually got an invoice uh, in August for fixing stage, uh, <laughs> demanding payment. And um, we came here in August and it hadn't even started. Yeah. Um, and, and we said, we don't, we don't can't pay you any money until you c c get a start on. So in the end, they started working and working. And then we come to an agreement that we'll pay them uh, $170,000 of a $212,000 payment. Um, basically, they took the yeah. 170000 and they haven't been back. That was seven months ago. Yeah. Uh, now they're demanding a pay increase. They're demanding uh, an extra sixty thousand dollars on top of the project. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> which is not in the contract. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And and now that we've told we've told you like there's some um, trusses that've been modified. There's all the waterproofing non-compliant. There's some um, roofing works. The driveway is not even completed. You know, landscaping. What else was included in, in the contract for? The oh, it was a turnkey solution. Turnkey, so turnkey, yeah. basically, yeah. The, the whole lot. Basically, you know, have yeah. the house constructed and, and basically just move in. That that, that was yeah. the uh, the contract that we agreed on. Yeah, it was not, not much left to pay. I yeah. mean, considering the uh, the cost of the homes and the variations. I mean, uh, the yeah. balance may even be like one hundred and forty, hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> um, you know, we're probably looking at about 300000 to finish here. Yeah. The stormwater's just, just, not complete. There's some pits around the home that are not finished. Oh, very bad. We still got to do the pits as well. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. Keep going. The render's not complete, which is part of lockup stage. Yeah. The eaves are not complete, part of lockup stage. The guttering right there, you know, <laughs> part of the lockup stage. Yeah. I mean, well, the gas. At the be... moment, we're in dispute because they're saying lockup size is complete, and this is the the dispute. Yeah. Uh, the banks have come here and they, they won't release the funds because it's not complete. Well, but there you go. Uh, yeah. the builders actually brought his own uh, independent uh, inspector as well yeah. and sent me two photos of the front door and the bathroom saying it's finished. <laughs> and oh my God. Yeah, that, that was his report. Oh my God! From, you know, probably got the inspector from Gumtree. Oh, I, I should actually, yeah, I should actually send you the report. Oh. It was two pages. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So oh. Take, take a look at this, guys. Look at this. I mean, I've showed you guys, you know, before with the previous footage of the breaches. There's a lot of incomplete works, landscaping as well. Landscaping is going to be at least fifty grand. The the driveway at least fifty grand. <laughs> mm, of course, easily. Yeah. Easily, so there's, there's definitely not enough funds to think. They've just chucked yeah. in that door. Yeah, look at, look at the gaps in here as well. Look. Yeah, you've got... So they'll probably put bottle, uh, flush in on there or... You've got a cap in over there that's missing, that's yeah. allowing water ingress into the home, rubbish yep. everywhere. I mean, this job has been just deserted. It has, it, it's totally, it's abandoned. You can yeah. see it's, it's totally abandoned. Yeah. They've abandoned the project. So there you have it, guys. <sighs> this homeowner right here experiencing the worst he trusted the builder and the builders let him down oh well it, it was simple basically the contract the drawings yeah. and 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 just follow that and it, it wasn't that that hard yeah. the so funds were there as well did you see did you notice that it's a leak yeah the yeah. water damage is yeah. right there water so that's a missing capping there yeah they didn't bother to fix it so yeah, let's hope, um, so now let's hope this builder mm. uh, rectifies everything, which is going to be more than the balance. <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> definitely. Oh my God. Yeah.
I just feel sorry for all those other people that, yeah. uh, you know, can't, uh, another family may not recover from something like this. So you just got to be very careful who you choose which builder. Very yeah. important. Yeah. There, there you have it, guys. Just be mindful. It's serious out there. Make sure you get your stages inspected before you release a payment. The homeowner's right there. He's... Uh, He's pretty upset with his, with the whole experience. Trusted the builder, sent paid all the money that they wanted, and now this is the result. Look mm. at this. I mean, if I if I'd had the place inspected properly yeah. from from your company from the start, I, we probably wouldn't be here. Look at this. Yeah, we're not going to release the payment until everything's everything meets the minimum standards. But look, this is what this is what he got. So take a look at this home here. We've got a double story home here brick veneer on the ground floor and then your favorite cladding upstairs polystyrene cladding and the same thing for the unit at the back but let's go for a for a walk around the park here and see what this builder has in store for us first of all we've got let's get rid of this weed we've got this exposed gas pipe which is non-compliant because it is exposed to the UV rays and will deteriorate over time. You can see it's already starting the, de the deterioration process right there. Let's keep going. Uh, have a look at the brickwork here. Split masonry to the uh, base bed joints right there. Have a look. This is also a defect. I'm learning how to choose the right audio apps. Oh my God. <laughs> this is also a defect as you can see have a look at this brick overhang here we have have a look 30 around 35 mil my goodness and look at the nice belly Ugh. too many beers let's keep going and have a look what's going on here Take a look at this other brick overhang. So the brick is overhanging the slab. Around, let's have a look. Try to get in there. Around 40 mil. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. And this is part of lockup stage. Look at this brick cracking here already. And the reason why this is all stained here is because of this sump right here the stormwater is not connected to the stormwater system during construction which is a big no-no have a look at that the render's incomplete as well which is part of lockup stage the eaves sheets here the coverings the soffits are not installed which is part of lockup as well look at this even the net even the birds are enjoying it here They've taken over the job. Oh my God. Yep. Let's keep going around. Now, an important aspect of this whole issue here, see how water's ponding here. And also, oh my God. Anyway, let's go through the other lengthy grass here. You can tell that this job has been left alone for a while. Have a look at this here as well. This downpipe is discharging straight around the slab. And AS2870 has requirements for drainage around the drop site. So the issue with this right here is that when the water starts to pond here during the construction of the home, it will start to soften the clay and then you'll get movement. You'll get start getting some premature cracking to your home. Now that is in breach of AS2870 and I'll leave an extract there. It does state that the surface drainage of the site shall be controlled from the start of site preparation and construction. So these guys obviously have failed to do that. And and we're going to have a look around later on to see if there's any structural movement to the home that has already occurred, guys. Oh, we've got a long day ahead of us. Let's keep going. So 
take a look at this here guys have a look at this job site right here have a look at this door I mean oh look at this guy <laughs> look how he's under uh, the cover flashing right here look at this he obviously reached this point and was like oh damn what the hell am I gonna do here we have around um what is it 40 mil right there and here oh my god around 20 mil as well look at this and also the door does appear to be on an angle <sighs> Hmm. And obviously there's a penetration here. Hmm. There might be some cash inside. Let's take a look. Oh, no, nah, nothing. Look at the pile of rubbish here. So also, for your information guys, these gutters also are non-compliant. You cannot use these type of gutters, the slotted gutters. See the slotted gutters right there? They're actually overflows. So when there is a blockage in your drainage system. Water will discharge out of these little tiny little slots right there. And I'm going to show you guys an extract why this is non-compliant. Unless you have a performance solution, that is. Oh, extract on the screen. Look at this. Look at this work, guys. I'm speechless. And I haven't been inside the house yet. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> now, if you look at here, see how the bricks are sitting on this steel lintel? Would you believe me if I said that this is non-compliant? This item, a lot of people don't pick on this. So I'm glad that I'm bringing more awareness to it. Have a look. This one as well. So AS4773.2 states that the bricks cannot overhang the steel lintel more than 25 mil. And I'll leave an extract for free on the screen for you guys. Have a look at this now. Let's get my tiny little ruler to get a nice measurement. Now I'll get a digital caliper later on to see this. But you can see, you can see it's at 30 mil. Have a look. 30 mil overhang. Non-compliant guys, non-compliant. All right, I got onto the lower roof for the first unit and I was uh, simply flabbergasted with my finding. Have a look. Let's get in there and see what we're dealing with guys. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. They've actually embedded the mesh, which is a good thing. For some reason, they stopped the render. What the hell happened here? And also, if you take a look at this here. Oh. Something, something doesn't seem right here. Something definitely doesn't seem right here. It's the green board. It's from a company called NRG. And I'm gonna leave an extract on the screen to show you guys. You can see how it's green. That's up top of um, foam. That's their kind of brand. Um, they went hard up. Oh, sorry. See, give me a break, please. Um, you can see how they went hard up on the uh, on the apron flashing right here there has to be a clearance now i'm not sure why they've cut this up i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying to understand the mind of the installer which is a mystery sometimes <sighs> you can see how they've got one coat two coat and then the texture it's uh, yellowing because it is deteriorating from the weather. Maybe the birds are munching on it. We will never find out. Now, for the NRG installation, 
instructions. They do state that a starter bar has to be installed, but these guys have used an external angle to the bottom of the sheet. And second, there is no clearance of, of at least 25 mil as per the manufacturer's installation manual. So these guys are already in breach of the installation manual, which does unfortunately void the warranty. Let's keep going here and see what else is wrong with the render. Uh, a lot of issues here. Non-compliant. Extra on the screen. Non-compliant as well. Ponding of water under capping. They've tried to, they've tried to put on an angle. Have a look. They've tried to do that, but it is still ponding for some reason because the NCC does state that for parapet cappings, you shouldn't fix the top like that. You have to fix on the side. Let's see what's happening here. Underneath, let's have a look at the box cutter. Sorry, I can't see yet. You go for problem C, but it is non compliant. You can see, you guys can probably see a couple of issues here. One issue is that, that this sucking right here uh, does not enter. Oh, it does enter it, sorry, right there. But it is the upstand is non compliant. This is non compliant. Let's turn on my digital level. Now, there's some scaffolding bits and pieces here. They've got a really big sump. This is basically um, a high capacity overflow right there. That's it. That is non compliant. Okay, guys. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that this kind of setup here is non-compliant. A lot of breaches right here. Uh, first of all, look, they've got the length right, which is 600 mil. That's correct. The outlets cannot cross the center. The flange is installed to the top, which is right there. This kind of overflow is non-compliant. You can't have that set up. Oh, so many boo-boos. Let's check out the depth. It's 150, which is correct if you want to have that set up. So you can see here that there is a spreader right there, which, which is um, basically a downpipe. The water from the upper roof discharges all the way down, then comes out of this outlet and makes its way here. So there is a lot of water coming to this sump right here and it has to be designed to the minimum standards, guys. And it is not designed to the minimum standards. <sighs> so my colleague downstairs is telling me that there is a leak somewhere over here. You guys can probably guess where it's coming from. Have a look at this installation. Oh my god. Non-compliant works throughout, guys. I'm not sure why they've cut this, but I'm guessing they were trying to find out the source of the leak. So this, they've just cut this whole thing up. And probably they couldn't find it anymore. So take a look at this, guys. Honey, I mean, I'm really worried to walk on this roof because I believe there's no adequate support. But take a look at this. How is this... A lock-up stage completed or even a fixing stage complete <laughs> I think we found the source of the leak guys <laughs> it's right there look at that unbelievable oh my god yep there you go so just keep just keep on top of your builder just make sure that you check everything before submitting that final payment for each stage because you'll be paying for a stage that's not compliant. That is, that is how I see things. And unfortunately, we had a client that did pay for a stage and the next day, the builder went bust and he hasn't fixed the defects that we spotted out. 
So just make sure you get legal advice and be careful and be mindful. Be mindful of what you're getting delivered. You might be getting delivered a non-compliant product, a defective product, and then it's going to be a big headache for you. Let's keep going, people. So I was admiring the work of the bricklayer here. Let me know what you guys think. Take a look at this. So these joints right there, they're called perpen joints or perpendicular joints. And you can see that it's around 35 mil. And here it's around 40 mil. And jumps down to 35 mil. Wow, look at this. Yep, that's pretty poor workmanship. <laughs> oh my God, let's keep going. Uh, reached the second unit upper roof I wanted to get the roofing out of the way and uh, take a look it's such a small roof and they still can't get it right those roof plumbers I think the industry needs to change serious the roof plumbers can't sign off their own jobs the roof plumbers must be signed off the roof plumbing work must be signed off by an independent plumbing inspector or the VBA whatever but they're signing off their own jobs Take a look at this. Non-compliant, 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 non-compliant. So, what are the non-compliant items here? Many, many are non-compliant items. We've got the pressure flashing, the slope of this capping has to be three degrees fall. This high capacity overflow right there, non-compliant. This sump is non-compliant. Couple of issues here, same as the other video. And it's oversized because there is no higher catchment area here for this massive sump. It's around 600, which is a minimum, and then by 370 oh my god and the other issue here that I noticed while I was on this lower roof can you see how the tiles are slipping out look at these tiles over there take a closer look have a look here have a look there you're all slipping because they are not fixed into position. It's a breach of the National Construction Codes, guys. Each tile has to be fixed. At the ridge, hip, barge, and valley tiles, including capping, must be fixed. And that's for every single tile. So, this is a big no-no as well. You can see here, those two tiles are not fixed as well. So, they are going to slip over time. Ah... <sighs> You can, th you can see how they've clipped each one. See that? They've done each one here. They've secured them. But the other ones are not. So you can see here, this is the lower roof. This is that lower roof that we were talking about. Have a look. You can see how the sump is not supported right there. A lot of roof plumbers, uh, I think late last year, were kind of giving it to me online because I was commenting about there has to be adequate support underneath the guttering system, which is in breach of uh, AS 3500. And also the VBA had been picking on it as well. And the thing is, there was an incident that happened in Tasmania, and I'll leave an extract on the screen to show you guys that unfortunately, a trader did fall in a sump and passed away. So it is a serious issue. And all it takes is probably like 15 minutes to install support underneath the guttering system. That is a requirement, guys. So please, start doing it. All right, let's get in and have a look what's going on here. So obviously, you can see the skirtings have not been installed. And just through, I'm going to put the extract again from Consumer Affairs Victoria, which states what fixing stage is. It's uh, basically all internal 
cladding architrave skirtings right there, not installed. Uh, in built-in shelves, baths, basins, troughs, sinks, cabinets and cupboards are fitted and fixed into position. Now, you can see the kitchen is installed here, the sink is installed here. The kitchen hasn't been finalized yet. Stone is still not fitted, but it is right over here. You've got also um, skirtings not fitted here. They've fitted the laundry seal. The cabinets are not finished yet here. Have a look at this beautiful paint job. Oh yeah, that's all right. Let's keep going. And also there is a breach that I've noticed here with the plasterboard. Had they finished the plasterboard hard up on the floor, there should be a six to 10 mil gap. See what happens when Look at this, when you go hard up, it's not good. As soon as you get a bit of movement, it will just crack. They've done that in a couple of spots. One spot here, as you can see, and here. And also where that water leak is, let's have a look. There should be a water leak somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can see there is a water leak right here. Have a look at this. Right there. Yep, water has been getting in. And the homeowner hasn't moved in here. Wow. So let's take a look now. Let's see if there's any moisture in the architrave first. Yes, it's a very high reading. Now let's check out the ceiling. The ceiling seems pretty wet. It's dry in this section. As you can see, what about here? Nothing. It's all clear. So the bathroom is non-compliant. The water stops here are installed incorrectly. We've got the door jam is embedded into the tiles and it does not appear to be waterproofed. Extract on the screen. This is non-compliant. We're flood testing this section to see if the water does go anywhere, you know, into the laundry or the kitchen. We'll see what happens. But let's keep going upstairs. See what's going on. Obviously, they've just got a primer coat on. The painting is not finalized, it's just a primer. We've got another leak here. This is where the polystyrene was cut out. Here's that roof area, the lower roof. We're doing a flood test here as well. But the water stop to this uh, cavity slider <coughs> is non-compliant as well. And also, there is no separation. There is no vertical separation between the shower area right here and the wet area. So they're gonna get water leaks for sure over time. You can see that it's just a grout line. There is no water stop installed. So non-compliant work, guys. Let's take a look at the other unit now. Look at the magpies. Let's keep going. Again, Another uh, gas pipe that's exposed, non-compliant. Look at the wiring just hanging out. Yep, full of water. Let's keep going and seeing what's happening here.
There's about the same issues here as well with the brickwork and the window seal. Also the lintel overhang right there. The bricks overhang in the lintel. Oh my God. Yep. A lot of work to do here. A lot of work. Look at this. These gaps can be easily fixed, but it's just incompleted works at the moment. Oh. Have a look at this gutter right there. Look at the joint. <laughs> oh my God. That explains all the water ponding around this area here. And also take a look at the render. Have a look at the render. Look at the texture. It just looks like they've watered down the texture. Take a look. At the wall. Really poor workmanship here. Really poor workmanship. And also we have a, a spreader right here. You can't install the spreader that then discharges onto valleys right there. That's not compliant as well. Have a look at this ensuite here. The water stop also is not compliant. See how the tile has raised the angle, which is a big indicator that the waterproofing has been breached. And also, there's no water stop there, separating the shower area from the wet area. Same thing for this bathroom here as well. Needs to get ripped out, done again. But have a look at this. Check out that tile cut around this penetration. And the bathtub is fitted into position, as you can see. No problem. Take a look at this. Look how they fixed the fitting. into the substrate, haven't sealed it, haven't waterproofed on top of it, so any subtile water that reaches this area is gonna go downstairs, right there. We've moisture checked all the walls, the floors. There is no indication of any other water ingress. So let me show you guys what we found. All right. <clears throat> all right. We've got a nice view here now. We've got some trusses. that have been cut. Look at this, they have been modified, which appears to have been modified on site. Like, look at this. They've got a beam here that goes all the way to here. And then it's screwed, bugle screws. Then it's screwed into this truss as well. Actually, sorry, 
What is going on here? It's not a double truss, sorry. It's just one truss and then they've laminated another piece of timber with an LVL here. Now, modifying trusses without a structural engineer recommending the rectification method is a big no-no. And I did reach out to the building surveyor while I was on the site and I'm going to pull my phone out to show you guys what he actually said about it. I'm glad that the building surveyor now knows about this structural issue right there because it is a serious issue because we have a heavy load. You've got to remember that roof tiles are approximately 60 kilos every square meter, which is a heavy load on these trusses. So if that's been modified, it's a pretty serious issue and can be a safety issue as well. If you guys really enjoyed this video and you did learn something new, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, my friends, let's go.